what's going on you guys back with another video so i want to get into what narcissists expect from you and how it affects your everyday life how it affects your everyday thinking how it just affects your overall health number one narcissists expect you to always stay on alert wondering you know what have i done wrong and what could i do to make it better if the narcissists know that they can manipulate you into believing that it's something that you've done wrong or it's something that they're stressed out about they need you to stay up as long as they're up in order to fix it to make them feel better sometimes it's just mind games because they get their kicks out of you know just watching you in misery or struggle to figure them out and sometimes it's because you know, they struggle to kind of have things in control. And so they kind of put that burden on you in order for you to help them figure out how to smooth things out. And you become sleep deprived in the process because if they're losing sleep, they need you to lose sleep as well. As long as they're up and, um, you know, just restless for whatever reason, they need you to be up and restless for the same reason. They wake you up in the middle of the night by making unnecessary noise. They wake you up early in the morning, earlier than you need to be up, you know, to break your wrists on purpose. They do these type of things on purpose, just out of dirt, just because they're evil people like that. They have a lot on their mind and they need you to know that your wrist doesn't matter. They don't care about you getting wrists. Why should you be able to get a good night's sleep if their mind is constantly wondering on you know just of the, the the evil that they do and getting revenge on the next person or punishing someone you know as long as they're not at peace with themselves they want you to feel the same way and so with that comes sleep deprivation it, it, you're going to constantly be sleep deprived when you're living with a narcissist and sometimes even when you're not living with one because i told y'all about the time that the narc was volunteering to bring me to work, even though I had a good running car outside under my carport. I never really understood that until I understood it. And then it was just like, she would be here way earlier than she need to be parked outside my house. I'm like, that was strange. But you know, those are the ways of a narcissist. Number two is drained and exhausted. You know, it's like you, you find yourself doing too much. And no matter what you do, it will never be enough for the narcissist. No matter what you do, you will never be able to fully and completely please the narcissist. They're going to always need you to go the extra mile, you know, just to keep them satisfied. Because that's how they think. As long as they see that you're trying, they see that you're putting forth the effort to keep them happy to cater to them, to make them feel special. They'll continue to use you and use you and use you until you're completely drained of nothing. And that's how you find yourself drained and exhausted. Now, those are one of the examples because other examples are you kind of doing it on your own because you feel like if the narcissist expect this of you, then you, you're going to do it. You know, if you're a people pleaser type person. A lot of times people are people pleasers and your heart is in the right place, but your mind is not because we think that we have to react that way in order to win a person over as far as their respect or their love or, you know, it's, and it's, that's not necessary. You shouldn't have to pretty much kiss up to a person to constantly make them feel special in order to be respected. And so that's pretty much why you feel confused a lot. And they do that again to manipulate you, you know. And they know that they can get you to react that way. But number three is manipulation. And a lot of times with manipulation, they love to say this thing. You know what you did. And when they get that to kind of stick to you and it's constantly on your mind, they know that they're going to have you thinking about, well, what did I do? 
you know they're gonna have you thinking so far back to you're gonna start creating your own thoughts of illusions of things that didn't even happen and they know that they already know that that's how you're going to start to think and so with those thoughts are going to come ways of how you can fix it and now you're just doing stuff out of the blue you know just to make their day better and again it's still not going to be enough because they need you to think well, you know what you did? It really, really hurted me. It, it really took a toll on me. And, um, you know, I, I I, just don't know how I'm going to come back from that. I don't think I'll be able to get over it. And so that's why they use, you know, they, they like to say things like, you know what you did. And you haven't done anything. So just think about the next time someone, you know, when this, this certain person loves to say this to you. And they have you, the moment you start to feel confused, like, what I did? And you know inside of your mind and in your heart, you didn't do anything wrong? Nine times out of ten, you didn't do anything wrong. They're just manipulating you because they need you to feel that way. And as long as they can get you to receive it, they know that you're going to act on it and you're going to start to do things um, in a way that they're going to expect you to. Number four is you're going to be disoriented. And the way I look at being disoriented is being confused. You know, like, um, say, for instance, you're at work, you have certain tasks to do. The narcissist, they have already completed the task. But you go ahead and do it, and they're not going to let you know that they did it already. They're going to let you just, you know, go through a whole lot to complete something and once it's completed you know it's like they get their kicks out of just watching you work just watch you just waste your time and do something that was unnecessary and you do that you know and doing things like that you may get disoriented because you're gonna start trying to get ahead to make sure you have everything laid out perfectly for a narcissistic person because it's like it's like they kind of train your mind to think a certain way to, to to already know what to do. See, a narcissist think that they can train you, you know. They don't believe in you just being free-spirited and doing things at your own free will. They feel as though you should follow their lead and do things their way. And as long as you think that way and do as they do, Sometimes they're going to already have accomplished it. That way you'll be doing it for nothing. That's how I look at being disoriented. I find myself being very confused sometimes, like doing something that I thought I had done the right way. Sometimes they'll be so sneaky and low down and dirty. They'll go behind your back and, and um, you know, just undo things that you've already taken care of. Just like how they gaslight you. It's just kind of like another form of gaslighting. Except they do it in a very sneaky way. And it's really no communication. But they kind of already know what you have planned to do. So they have went ahead of you and done something. It's kind of hard to explain. But when you're feeling disoriented, it's just like a, another state of confusion. And it's all at the hands of the narcissist. They're the mastermind behind it. They know how it's going to make you feel. They know how it's going to make you react. And they get their kicks off of it. They don't care about you being confused. You know, if anything, they're going to laugh about it. I've been around narcissists who love to laugh at your mistakes. They want to see you make mistakes. They want to see you do things, you know, that you're just wasting your time. Things that are done, you know, that you didn't even have to do. They want to see you do that. They want to see you waste your time. Because one, they're kind of jealous of the way you do it. So they've gotten ahead and did it already. You know, and I'm speaking of it like at work or something like that. Um, but if you all have other ways of kind of explaining what disoriented me, how, it, how narcissists will, uh, narc abuse will affect your mental health and your stability, you know, leave it in the comments down below and just let me know how 
it has affected you in a way to where, you know, you've been confused. Like, I know I did it this way, so how did it come out that way, you know? Number five is just being unsure. Like, they want to make all the decisions for your life. They want to tell you your likes and your dislikes, and they also play both sides. And when they play both sides, they kind of secretly put people against you. And by them doing that, they keep you all to themselves. At the same time, they keep you, you know, they do the whole divide and conquer. They keep you divided against other people. They want to keep the best thing to themselves. In the meantime, they want the people to think you're the worst thing that ever happened to mankind. So, you know, that's how they have you unsure because you're now confused in a way to where, why are people, you know, why are so many people up against me? Why do these people hate me now? I don't know. And no one's asking questions. No one's clarifying anything for themselves. You know, they just hate me out the blue and I don't know why. It's just not clear to me. Everything, I'm just so unsure about what's going on around me. You know, why am I being punished? Why am I being left out? And it's all because of the narcissist. They planned it to be that way. They set it out to be that way, you know. And number six is it's like they constantly criticize and complain about every single thing you do. No matter what you do, it's never good enough. Now, I'm not saying in a way to where no matter what you do for them as far as treating them the nice things, it's not good enough because they're comparing it to what other people has done for someone else i mean it's like no matter how high you scored a 85 on the test you know you could have done better and and scored 100 i mean in that way it's like they need you to feel a very low self-esteem you know the narcs they love to see you down and out which causes you to become broken they never give a kind word, never give a compliment, never make you feel special, motivate you, or give you that extra push that you need in a good way. And there's nothing wrong with, you know, constructive criticism. But narcissists only criticize to hurt and punish. They don't criticize to push you to do better in a genuine way. So don't be tricked by that. When you're constantly criticized by someone who's complaining about every little thing you do. They're not doing that because they have the best interest in you. Don't even give them that. I hate when people say that. Like, well, they're only doing that because they care about me and they want to see me at my best. No, they're doing it when a narcissist do it and you see that it's a constant complaint and criticism. They're doing it because that's just who they are and they want to break you down to nothing. And to the point where you are just completely broken and destroyed. So that concludes my video of what narcissists expect from you and how it affects your mental health in your everyday life.